number two says that uh, given p equal to this right here the part a says rewrite this expression with each number correct to one significant figure so we are going to write each number here correct to one significant figure so like for this one the first one right here zero uh point zero zero two seven four right um for this number such a number like this one if we want to write it correct to one significant figure we count one number from the first non-zero right so the first non-zero is basically a number which is not zero so you see that this is a zero this is a zero and this is a zero our first non-zero here is two right so we count one number from two which means two itself right and then when you count your numbers like one number in this case then you look at the next number the next number is seven it happens to be above five right so if the next number is above five we add now uh, one to this two right here so it becomes a three so this number correct to one significant figure is zero point zero zero three right so that is one significant figure right okay so that's what we are going to do for each of these ones so for part a it's p equal to zero point zero zero uh, three multiplied by so i'm now writing three thousand four hundred and sixty to a number in one significant figure so three thousand four hundred and sixty to one significant figure i count one number from the first nine zero in this case the one number the first nine zero happens to be this three right here then i look at the next number it's a four a four is below five so when it's below five we do not do anything to this number right here so it remains three now since uh, our number is three thousand four hundred and sixty these other numbers these three numbers become zeros these ones so then our number basically will be three thousand so three thousand four hundred and sixty to one significant figure is three thousand so i write my three thousand here All right and then um the next number is 9.88 9.88 right 9.88 uh to a number in one significant figure we, f we count one number from the first nine zero the first nine zero happens to be this nine right here so that's our one number and then we look at the next number it's eight which is above five so that means we add one to this nine to become 10 so we'll have 10 here right and plus the next number is 23.8 to one significant figure one number from the first nine zero that is the two and then you look at the next number which is three so three is below five so nothing happens to this two so it becomes it just remains two and then this three since it's before the comma becomes a zero we have to write that zero so that it becomes 20 right so we'll have 20 here right and uh, the whole bottom is raised to the power two like that now moving forward uh, so that is part a rewrite this expression with each number correct to one significant figure that is what we have done here right part b part b says estimate the value of p correct to one significant figure so basically we are asked to simplify this or to evaluate this right p is equal to so 
we figure out what is 3000 multiplied by 0 0.03 right so we can quickly do the calculation to say that uh, 3000 multiplied by 0 0.003 right so I basically multiply by 3 3 multiplied by 0 it's 0 3 by 0 it's 0 3 by 0 it's 0 and 3, 3 by 3 that is 9 right and I have three decimal places here so that is 1 2 3 right there so my for the top part it gives me 9 right over uh, this the bottom part we have 10 plus uh, 20 which is 30 so it's 30 squared right 30 squared is equal to 30 multiplied by 30 and uh, 30 multiplied by 30 is basically 900 you can do the calculation manually if you want so that is 900 here so finally we say 9 into 9 1 9 into 900 is 100 right and uh, that is equal to 1 over 100 and 1 over 100 is 0 comma 0 1 so that is basically the solution to one significant figure you see that there is one number the first non zero is one right so that is uh, our solution for this uh, question